Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to set up your Angular project for Firebase using the npm package called Firebase TS. To begin, go to firebase.google.com. Sign in to Firebase by clicking on the Sign In button. Enter your Gmail account credentials. If you do not have a Gmail account, create one by going to accounts.google.com and sign up. Once you have signed in, go to the console by clicking on the Go to Console button. Click on the Create a Project button and begin creating a project for your Angular application. Enable Google Analytics and continue. Accept all the agreements and create the project. Click on the web icon and create a web application for the Firebase project. Give the application a name and click register. Scroll down and click the continue to console button. This concludes the first part of the video. All that's left is to connect the project. Open your Angular project on Visual Studio Code. Install the Firebase TS package. Run the npm install command and install Firebase TS. Go to the app module file and add the Firebase TS app class to the imports. Create a constructor for the module and call the init method from the Firebase TS app class. The method is used to connect the Angular project with Firebase, so this is the first thing you have to do to use this package. The method takes in a configuration of the Firebase project. To get the configuration information, go to the Firebase console for the project and click on the gear icon on the left. Then select Project Settings. Scroll down until you see the Apps section. Locate your web app and scroll down until you see the configuration information. Click on the Config option and copy the code. Go back to Visual Studio Code. Paste the code in the constructor and pass the config object into the init method. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video. As a bonus, we should put the config information in the environment variables files. and bring it into the app module for the init method.